call it the Valley of a Thousand Hills. For hundreds of years, this unspoiled African land has been home to Zulu villagers. Yet today, members of this community may be living one of the Earth's worst toxic nightmares, drinking and bathing in water polluted with some of the highest levels of mercury ever recorded. Mercury causes brain damage, it ravages the nervous system, it causes birth defects, and it's been going on for quite some time. How does deadly toxic waste from America find its way into the drinking water of poor black communities in South Africa? Our story begins here at Letterly Laboratories in Boundbrook, New Jersey. An American company, American Cyanamid, located in New Jersey, has been shipping about 10 tons of mercury a year to South Africa to a company called Thor Chemicals. The mercury is supposedly being recycled, but as it turns out, quite a bit of it is ending up in a stream that runs through Zulu villages that people take their drinking water from, that cattle drink from, clothes are washed in. One, one needs to, f to find out where that mercury winds up. So, uh, so I did. I went to South Africa. And there I found a, uh, a, uh, uh, an idyllic valley. At the, uh, the uh, head of the valley is a shining factory, a, a factory operated by Thor Chemical. The plant is the largest mercury reprocessing facility in the world handling tons of toxic waste imported from Europe and the United States each year. Whoever did that was it was a criminal act. And we need to, to come to the realization that I don't care how much money they have, how much power they have, whether or not they are a congressman or can buy them, that they do not have a right to do that. 